Jung Rep Sua, greetings everyone, I'm Usa from Cambodian Nest. Right now, I'm so happy to have uh, Mr. Seng Pichet, who is the representative of AgriSource Cambodia, uh, to tell us about the objective uh, of today's site visit as well as the this non-profit organization ob objective as well. So my first question to you is like we have spent the whole day visiting different places, including the uh, Mang Chuk Montessori community and as well as the farm, and lastly the lemongrass farm. So can you? Tell me, like uh, the objective, the the main objective of today's site visit, and can you highlight whether it is the first or second site visit for Agrisot Cambodia? Okay, thank you very much for your question. So uh, I'm Picheta, as she uh, said, that I am a representative of Agrisot here in Cambodia. Um, Agrisot is the NGO we work uh, to help a farmer to be sustainable, to be autonomous. So what we are doing, it is to train them on different techniques of production, as vegetable production, fruit tree production, or other production. And after that, we give them some support of material. And when they start to produce, we group them, and we link them with the market. And after that, we withdraw ourselves to let them be autonomous in their activity. So what we are doing today, it is to show you the farm that they produce a lot of lemongrass. And when we, we, we start here in, in the Bantestray area, we saw that the lemongrass, it is the main activity of the farmer and they met a lot of problem of the market because the middlemen do what they want to do. So it is very difficult for the farmer to, 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 to gain some revenue. So they ask us to help them how to get money with this kind of, um, this kind of, of uh, production. We, we, we try to think about what the market right now asked. And before the COVID, of course, they have a lot of hotel and spa who use a lot of essential oil, and especially lemongrass essential oil. That is why we work with the farmer to group them as a producer group to set this kind of workshop and to train them to produce uh, essential oil and to let, to, to link them with the market. And before, yes, before the COVID, it, it was successful. And after the COVID, as you know, no tourism, and it was very difficult for them to, 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 to sell their product. So today, what we want to do, it is to show, to let Cambodian people know that here in Simre province, uh, in Bantes Trade District, they have some production, they have some, uh, some farmer who try to do something and it can be really interesting for them to see what they are doing and to, to try to help the economic, local economic. It is what I, we wanted to show today. So, uh, since the first day that you came here and um, until now, so have you observed like the difference between uh, the livelihood of the local livelihood? Mm -hmm. uh, how has it changed from the first day you come and after uh, your training as well as your support? Yeah, yes, it is a very good question. So about the livelihood, about the revenue, they, they, they get more revenue, of course. Now they can send their shield to the school, they can be autonomous, they can um, go to the doctor, uh, they can have now some motorbike compared to before. But it is what I said, you have to ask them, it, it's better. And what I, I noticed also, they, they gain a lot of knowledge about technique, technique of production, technique of uh, essential oil production, uh, how to grow um, in, in a sustainable way. It means that reduce fertilizer, economic, um, chemical fertilizer, or reduce totally pesticide on the, on, the, on the production. It is what I, I noticed. It is a gain of knowledge. So I believe that uh, besides Mun District District, uh, Agri-Sud Cambodia also have to support local communities in Simrip. So uh, can you mention or can you highlight other areas or regions that Agri-Sud Cambodia uh, support uh, those local communities? Like so uh, yes, thank you. So right, right now we work in uh, eight communes around Simrip. We, you have in the south of Simrip, Karbay, Riel, Pur, Kandai, Chiriu, and in the north, Bantesri, and here Kunrim, and also we went uh, last time on uh, Kulen Bunteng. And uh, we grouped them as, uh, for their group themselves, yeah, yeah. Uh, as uh, Green Farmer Association, as you know. Uh, so, 
for aggressive Cambodia, do you have any plans like long term plans for Cambodia to support uh, local communities, like uh, to promote it to another level? Yes, of course. Uh, to promote it as a another level, it is um, to, 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 to support Green Farmer Association to create another entity as a social enterprise. Because right now, as an association, they are limited on their marketing uh, way. So to be a social enterprise is better for, for them to, to, to reach the market here and yeah. perhaps to reach the market outside the country. Okay. It is what we want to do. Of course, when they can reach this kind of level, we can withdraw ourselves and go to other areas that need our help. Uh, so, uh, because you invited other uh, like department as well, especially in Simri province. So, can you tell us like uh, what are the objectives of inviting them and like let them see how the community grow? So uh, what are the objectives? The objective it is when I received work before it is was on the production level, on the farmer level. It was the beginning of the story, and after that we reach another level. It is on the market level as you said we have some uh, we can market uh, we try to, f to to find some market for their the production and now we have reaching another level it is on territorial level it's made on the provincial level so if we work together if we work together we we are sure that it is benefit for the farmer in the country okay so my last question to you is as a representative of Agriso Cambodia, like how you feel uh, when you see uh, the, uh, the local communities, their livelihood is growing one day by one day because of your support mm -hmm. as well as the, your organization tries too hard to uh, support both uh, training as well as the financial support. Mm -hmm. So how do uh, how you feel after seeing like uh, their economic like, their situation is growing day by day? Thank you. So, you know, I, I did all my study in, in abroad in France. And uh, the first, my, 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 my curriculum of study, I, I am a chemical guy. I am a chemical guy and during 1993, my parents came here to find some relative because we lost during the Pol Pot period. And I came with them and it was a shock for me. It was a shock for me and I said, I have to help my country. Mm. I cannot stay other country. I am a Cambodian guy, you know. I cannot stay other and, and look my, my country like this. So I changed from chemical, from chemical to agro, economy, agro, agroecology or agro, agriculture, sorry. I changed from chemical to agriculture. So I went to, to, um, to um, engineer school of agriculture, tropical agriculture. And before to come here, I said I cannot come here like this. I have to gain some experience. So I, w I went to work in Africa during around seven years before to come here. And to see what I, 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 I see now, that farmer or people, Cambodian people can, 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 can raise their revenue or can be autonomous, it is very grateful for me because it was my objective. And it, it will be also at the, at, in the future my objective to help farmer to be autonomous. Yeah, after you know, spending the whole morning um, with the Bangti Sai Bangchuk Bangti Sai ecotourism or tourism based community, I feel very proud. It's a hidden gem that you know we we uh, me and myself I don't really know the place really well uh, honestly because um, it's after COVID a lot of things going on and I think it's a great um, opportunity for promoting um, ecotourism and tourism. Uh, community as well so there's a great potential products there that we can actually introduce to the broader audience of the uh, uh, clients you know basically reflect to the um, uh, simply uh, beyond temp temple activities so um, this morning uh, the the leg one was, was great for the uh, many things that we can do there and also you know around the um, the fruits gardens and also the, the fruit farm and also to here for the processing of the lemon grass it's kind of a very enhancing of the activities that people can actually not only see the the ecotourism and itself but also can engage with the local communities a lot more and also they can learn about the daily life about the what are 
you know the potential of the um, Honeycrust product and also the uh, the enhancing um, the activity in the community as well as bringing the uh, sustainable of the profits direct to the community. So I think it's a great in initiative. Yeah, thank for the for a very good trip. Yes. So talking about the Kata uh, Simrip chapter, because of this, uh, like association is working to promote uh, tourism in Simrip province. So um, after today's field, do you like as a vice president, do you have any short term or long term plans in promoting local communities uh, after today's site visit? Yeah, exactly. Uh, we are the Cambodia Tourism Association, short in Kata. We actually working um, uh, alongside with the communities to ensure that we have a, a good product to offer to our clients and also for our members. So um, basically we've been working with uh, a lot of community in the past as well, but uh, on this right, um, because this right is kind of just uh, established around 2018, so it's a bit of a quite new for us as well. But um, we do collaborate with the communities to ensure that we have enough product to introduce to our client because uh, Simrip, actually people think that uh, they come to Simrip just only see the temple, but actually we have brought the product especially for the CBT and ecotourism uh, to introduce to them. And this is something that we, we try to do many years already, but um, by knowing more and more developed uh, community, we will enhance with them to ensure that the product are right with our, our need and um, it, it also uh, aligned with the trend of tourism. So after COVID, uh, a lot of uh, tourism behavior has been changed. Uh, they, they tend to see more um, authentic place and natures and you know interact with the communities more and also especially for the green uh, like ecotourism and this morning uh, exploration was really you know um, seeing the the real green activity and also the daily life of the community and also you know encourage in sustainable um, ecotourism and CBT based tourism as well as the you know um, natures and cultures reflect in us yeah so um, from now, actually we've been working with the stakeholder for, for many years already, but uh, for now, it's, I'm glad that we have uh, this hidden gem, uh, community-based tourism, that we start to working with them and with other stakeholders to promote, um, where uh, we can design our package, uh, communities as part of our package. Um, there's a few things that we need to clarify with the authority and also with the community, you know, to offer something that is unique and reflect to the uh, same web destination. Okay, uh, so you have met sayings for mentioning about uh, Kata objective and vision in improving or in, uh, enhancing uh, local communities in Simbri province. So I believe that or more stakeholders will lead uh, to more achievement. So um, I, I would like to hear from you. What do you think? Who are the stakeholders that should be involved in developing such local communities in uh, promotes their local communities to another level? Yeah, of course, um, you know, ecotourism and tourism based communities involved with many stakeholders. So uh, namely is I think from the government sectors. It's very important that uh, government sectors act as their parents or uh, uh, you know, a very big important partnership of the community to make it work. Um, so first of all, it's the uh, government officers for around the policies uh, to enhancing the sustainable uh, community uh, investment policies and, you know, a legal perspective. And also, second is the member of the community itself. Um, the, com the member of the community have to, you know, to show and, and join your hand together to, to make sure that the community is you know, uh, reunite and also build um, in a very strong spirit. So then uh, the community can actually move and develop faster. Third is, uh, I think the associations like Cambodia Tourism Association is very important stakeholder to be engaged with because we, we kind of the one that, you know, um, actually bringing the product from the community to the tourist um, potential of client. So I think uh, the association is play very important role to be part of the community to uh, foster and then faster develop. Fourth, um, also the um, other private sectors. So it's not only you know Cambodia Tourism Association, but uh, other sectors like hotel, um, industry, restaurants, and you know chef or the association of chef uh, uh, 
So those agriculture uh, association as well. So those stakeholders are very important as a member of the uh, association and, and, and community based tourism to foster the development and involve join hand um, together to, so that um, all the project is moving faster.